hi everybody welcome to our new video uh this is azania tutorials uh we're going to learn today how to accept your transfer uh ticket so the process of transferring a domain from one domain to from one hosting to another is a little bit uh simple but uh, it needs some authorization from you as the owner of the domain so you have also to talk to the guys who are going to to take your domain to host it so also they have to send an email or a ticket to transfer ticket to the guys who are hosting your what your your domain so once the guys who are who transfer who 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 are hosting your domain currently uh receives that ticket which asks permission to transfer the domain to another uh company so they will contact you especially most in most cases they contact you via email to accept or to prove that you're the one who is authorizing the transfer of the ticket then on the end of these people who are going to uh receive the the the, the domain and are going to host your domain they're going also to send you a link whereby uh you're going to agree that you gonna transfer the domain to them or you disagree to cancel the domain in case somebody else was trying to transfer your domain into their names and also onto their what uh uh what they call their hosting so that helps you to protect your domain not to be stolen by or hijacked by anyone so you if you didn't if you reject the ticket so the transfer won't happen so but your transfer uh what uh transfer uh hosting the ones who are hosting you they're gonna send you a code so these ones which you want to give a new job to host you they're gonna send you a link and an email whereby you're gonna accept that ticket by uh putting in your code transfer code then it's gonna authorize that so this is the email they sent me it says that a request has been received to transfer then they'll give you the domain name to afrihost afrihost is the company which hosts this which is a new host for which i want to host with it's one of the biggest companies here uh this request was entered at thursday september 17 or two then they give you the time by musa jamini so if you wish to prove or deny the transfer please visit this uh, url and follow the instructions they give you the url which you're gonna click below they say if you don't respond to this message the transfer will be cancelled automatically after one week so if you don't want to do anything you can leave it because they said they're gonna uh, cancel it in a week it's gonna be automated so if the url above does not take you directly to the transfer confirmation page you will have to enter your domain name and the and the and the transfer key they give you the key before accepting the word the transfer please note that uh any domain any domain requires an auth code you understand auth code not the transfer key it say auth code the auth code is the one to approve transfer or to prove transfer that you the one who's authorizing this the code can only be obtained from a current domain provider you understand so the first people the first guys who are hosting your your domain they're going to send your auth code they sent it to me already i'm gonna put it in there you're gonna see accepting this transfer will change your registration service provider to your domain to afrihost afrihost is a company okay let me say like godaddy 
so when you accept when you put in that code it's gonna uh, it's gonna approve that you want to put your domain on the new host maybe it's gonna be coded in my case it's a free host an authorized reseller of the domain registrar T U C O W S. Okay, that's the one they say. If you are receiving this email, you should have initiated or at least be aware of this request already. Do not accept the transfer until you are satisfied that the request is legitimate. So, here they're avoiding people to do fraud. Uh, on your domain or to steal it so make sure you read each and everything they send you in the email if you're not sure of then you're gonna do what you're gonna have to leave the way things are so the auth code here they talked about the auth code is different from what they call uh, the transfer key this transfer key you only use it they say if the URL above does not take you directly to the transfer uh, to the transfer confirmation page, you will have to enter your domain name and the transfer key to get me. So this one you use it in case this does not take you to where you want to go. You get me. So I believe this could be uh, when you click when you you, you click in then you go here transfer then you delete all this then you put your domain name here which is the domain name here no you don't delete you say domain name you replace this domain name then and id which is gonna be this you get me the same thing they are talking about here is this same line use this same line it has this uh uh what the transfer key because it's lgs 2 cft jnt so this is like your transfer key so if it doesn't take you directly so you can use it in this way so they are trying to give you a way to do that maybe different domains do things different hosts host or different companies or different countries do things different in a different way but this is the <coughs> the main uh thing i know the way i've been doing things like this all this company has been sending me this when i uh, transfer domains to other uh what uh to from other hosting to their hosting so now what's the next step the next step is to click on the link after clicking on the link then we're gonna put in the auth code the auth code should be with you only and uh, it should be protected all the time don't share it with somebody so if you never got it talk to your host when you receive this email talk to you the current host because also the specify here please note that that may not domain require okay they say please note that main many domains require an audit code to approve a transfer so if you did not get that one <coughs> you might not be able to transfer your domain to the new hosting uh guys so what you're gonna do talk to them if you don't have that in my case i have it so once they give them once they give it to you then you're gonna be able to do what to do a transfer but without it as they specified that many of the dom many domains will require an auth code so those the authorization code uh, that uh, simply means that uh, there is a uh, you are aware that uh, your domain is going to be transferred to a different host so if you don't have it then it means you can't do that so we have it okay let's click on the link now you click on the link uh after clicking on the link so the link also come and say the domain listed above will be transferred to a free host that's what they say uh above here they say we have received a request for the following domain transfer they give you domain name current register this is the person with the company which is registering this and then they say uh the domain name here and they say the domain listed above will be transferred to a free host unauthorized reseller of open srs okay before responding to this transfer confirm confirmation please read the transfer and registration contract below so here you have to click yes 
that you understand each and everything if you want to read then you can open and read to verify this transfer please enter your auth code in the field below so what we do we're gonna put in our auth code which I have already then after that then I say I decline uh, no you don't say that yo to decline this transfer to AfriHost or here to decline this transfer to AfriHost I don't want to decline so I've, I made a mistake and this thing is un okay oh you see so this one this is you accept you agree then you put in you put in here your code so also if you don't agree then you click here then you can submit once you submit means you you have declined so i want to agree so i've up, approved that uh, I'm, i want to make this transfer i'm gonna say submit yes i've submitted after submission you're gonna see it's gonna say your transfer request will will now be submitted and uh, may take up to seven days to complete below is your transfer authorization re receipt please save a copy of this for your file okay this is the copy we're going to save uh, you can do this and uh, you you do what you can send an email to somebody you wish to send to uh, then that can help you for future uh, in case you forget yeah no guys that's the process then your hosting company is gonna is gonna do what is gonna show you what to do and uh, uh, it's gonna help you to to do the process cause you if you're done with this then you don't need to do anything else they will tell you that everything went well guys thanks for watching this is the end of our tutorial thanks for watching see you in the next video